happy Friday. So back to Frugal Friday this week. Took a couple weeks off there. Uh, I've got 10 affordable skincare products everyone should try at least once that I think will work for the majority of the people that use them. They're all very affordable. They're sensitive skin friendly. And I've got a couple sunscreens, some exfoliants, some toners, and some actives. So let me start with the very first product, which I just gave my last bottle to uh, friends. Actually, I gave two of a friend to uh, each friend. Uh, that is the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow. This is a stressless bottle because I gave my last two bottles away, so now I don't have it because I just finished mine from Geek and Gorgeous. But their Sea Glow is amazing. You can't go wrong with anything. This one's wonderful. Their APAD serum's great. Really, to be 100% honest, there is yet to be a product from them I'm disappointed with. So check them out. But the Sea Glow is great. It's very similar to SkinCeuticals and very affordable, and it's always made very fresh, which is the biggest factor, in my opinion, when it comes to a azorbic acid product. Okay, next up, we've got the CeraVe Hydrating Toner, uh, alcohol-free toner for what they call it, normal to dry skin. This is just a really wonderful toner that's really inexpensive. It's less than $10. The bottle's pretty big. A little bit of it goes a long way. You can pat on your skin, use it on a cotton pad, however you prefer. And it's just a really wonderful product from CeraVe. I also really am enjoying their Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser. So, can't go wrong with either of those. Okay, next up, we've got a cleanser that seemed to work well for a lot of people. It's always pretty affordable. It has no scent. It's great for sensitive skin. And it also really uh, removes a lot of stubborn sunscreen, makeup, oil, things like that. It has the uh, Hymish All Clean Green Foam. This stuff is wonderful. Really nice lather. So if you like a lather, but you don't like something that's super drying, this is probably one of the best compromises I've found between those two. And on a day when I'm just feeling lazy and not doing the two-step thing, this is what I go for. So, okay, next up we've got sunscreen, and that is the B-Lab Matcha Hydrating Sunscreen. Uh, their hydrating cleansing foam is also absolutely wonderful. This stuff is great. Uh, no fragrance in it. does contain some alcohol, but I have yet to get even burned at all or red or pink using this one so far. So, really loving this one. And it's a nice daily sunscreen where it doesn't feel greasy, but there's still no white cast, so you don't have to worry about looking like a ghost everywhere. So, okay, next up for an active, we've got the Costa Baja Azelaic Acid Serum. It's got 10% azelaic acid in it. It's pretty nice. It's got kind of a liquidy gel texture to it, which absorbs pretty quickly. It has no scent. It does have uh, rosemary leaf extract, which can be good ingredient as well as sometimes irritating, but... Uh, for azelaic acid, I really love this one, and the Face Theory one is also uh, wonderful. But I think this one retails like around $12, so that one might be a little bit more affordable. Okay, next up, we've got another, this one's a really good first step, second step, makeup removing cleanser, and that is the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. I love this stuff. It now also comes in a larger size since I got this one, but this is a great cleanser. You can apply it to dry skin, and it does a really good job removing makeup, sunscreen, things like that it doesn't leave a residue feeling either. And it's really affordable and for no fragrance. Okay, next up we've got one more active, the Inky List PHA Toner, which is a really nice gentle exfoliant. PHA is great for people that aren't really looking to reduce wrinkles so much, people that don't have acne, but maybe people that have more sensitive skin. And this stuff is really friendly for sensitive skin and no fragrance in it, no denatured alcohol in it. And uh, really gentle, but a good toner and really affordable as well. Although they're raising their prices, so I don't know. I think they're raising it. They, maybe they already did that. Okay, next up, we've got a few left. The Good Molecules Gentle Retinol Cream. Interestingly enough, uh, I went from the uh, Altrino lotion that I've been using for my retinoid product, and I'm toning that down a little bit for a few weeks. And I've been using this one, and it's much more gentle, which is which is what I need right now, and it does a good job. It's very gentle, though, so almost gentle enough where you can use it on your sensitive neck area, so it might be a good one for that. And again, really affordable, and a little bit of it goes a very long way. Okay, another one under $10, the Catrice Pour-in-One Exfoliating Toner. It's a really nice multi-acid toner. It contains no fragrance, contains no denatured alcohol. Retails for around $10. It used to be sold at Ulta, which is when I picked this up, but now I think they're only on their website as well as Amazon, which is kind of a bummer. But um, anyway, it's still worth trying. Uh, not necessarily, you know what, their milk, their moisturizing milk is also wonderful. So you can't go wrong with either one of those. 
And then last but not least, I've got one more sunscreen and I'm working on a uh, top 10 sunscreen of my daily favorites. But uh, this one is the Can Make UV Mermaid Gel, which retails for around eleven dollars. It's ridiculously affordable, although the bottle is a typical bottle, so it won't get you very far. But they all the nice thing now I notice they have three different formulas. They've got the clear formula, the white formula, which works as kind of a makeup primer, has a bit, bit of white cast, and now they've got a mint formula with some color correcting and centella in it. So I'm gonna have to try that one. But to be honest, I've tried all two of them. I haven't tried the mint yet, but I really like them both. I prefer the clear just because it's easier on a day-to-day -day basis, especially if you don't feel like putting foundation or anything over it. And uh, at $11, and the amount of filters it contains is amazing, and it's a mineral combo, uh, chemical mineral sunscreen, which just is amazing. So anyway, these are my 10 affordable skincare products. Everyone should try at least once. And if it works for you, then you've got some bang in your bank, maybe, left over instead of buying some really expensive things. So, anyway, interesting from you guys if you have any other affordable recommendations that everyone should try at least once. I'll leave a comment with what it is, and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.